This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at embracing the nearness of the kingdom of God. Lessons from Jesus. Let's do it. In the book of Luke, we found a profound and an inspiring message from Jesus himself. He says, know this, that the kingdom of God, the reign of God is near. These words spoken by our Savior carry immense significance for every Christian disciple. They remind us of the eternal truth that God's kingdom is not a distant dream, but a present reality in our lives. In this article, we explore further the depth and the power of this message, drawing a valuable lesson for our spiritual journey. So let's look at the nearness of the kingdom of God. When Jesus declared that the kingdom of God had come near, he was revealing a fundamental aspect of his ministry. He was not speaking of a far off future event, but something within arm's reach, something accessible to his disciples then and now. In the nearness of God's kingdom, it is a reminder that his presence and power are always available to us. Broadly speaking, the kingdom of God is the reign of an eternal sovereign God over all the universe. So God's reign is one of his rulership in our lives. One of the most beautiful aspects of the nearness of God's kingdom is the assurance of his constant reign as king of all. As Christians, we are not left to navigate the challenges of our life on our own. God is with us. God is in control. God is guiding. God is comforting. God is strengthening of us. God is God, and he's in charge in every season. Let us remember to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done. It's not about us. It's about God and what he wants and what he desires, and that's the important thing that we have. So we have access to his power. The nearness of God's kingdom also means that we have access to his divine power through the Holy Spirit. Through prayer, faith, and obedience, we can tap into the supernatural resources of heaven. This power enables us to overcome obstacles, heal the broken, and bring light to the darkness that is surrounding us on a daily basis. So as we look deeper into the context of this message from Jesus, there are several valuable lessons that we can garner from his, his uh, teaching here. First, proclaiming the kingdom and the reign of God. We should bring this message to a world that desperately needs to know that God is in control and that we are not. We are sinners and he is perfect. He has redeemed us and we are his disciples. We are his ambassadors to his revelation of redemption and deliverance. Our lives should reflect the nearness of God's kingdom and his reign through acts of love, compassion, and healing. So we have trust and dependence on Jesus as the king anointed by God. Jesus sends out 72 disciples with minimal provisions, emphasizing their dependence on God. This challenges us to trust in God's provision and rely on his guidance as we step into the mission he has, he has entrusted to us. And then we can come back and rejoice in the result, results. When the disciples, 72 of them, return, they return with joy, celebrating their accomplishments. Likewise, we should rejoice when we see God's kingdom manifesting in our lives and the lives of others. It reminds us that God's nearness brings about transformation and victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. So we know this. The kingdom of God has gone near, come near. These words are a source of endless inspiration and encouragement for every disciple of Jesus. They remind us that we are part of the kingdom that transcends time and space, a kingdom where God's presence and power are accessible to us every single minute of every single day. 
as we embrace the nearness of God's kingdom, let us walk in faith, proclaim his love, and rejoice in the miraculous work that he continues to do in our lives and in the world today. May our lives be a testimony to the transformative power of the Holy Spirit, making his presence known to all we encounter. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.